Great HR's loan workflow system allows the admin to create a new loan policy and define the reviewers who would approve the employee's loan application. Admin can also customize the action items that all the reviewers can perform on the application raised by an employee. The loan applied can later be considered for the payroll in a single click. From your Great HR Admin login, navigate to the Workflow Setup and then Workflow Levels page to get started. On the Workflow Levels page, click Add Workflow Levels. Under General Settings, select Loan from the Select Workflow Type drop-down. Enter the policy name and description. Select the required loan component from the Select Loan Component drop-down. Select Employee Filter from the drop-down list. Click on Save Policy. Click Next to move to the Workflow Level Settings. In this section, you can select multiple reviewer levels as per your requirements. Select a reviewer from the Reviewer Level 1 drop-down and enable the options as per your requirement. Please note, by enabling Accept and Forward, the manager will be able to forward it to the next level reviewer. By enabling Accept Manager under Reviewer Level 1, will be able to accept the loan and the loan will directly be forwarded for the loan consideration. However, the manager can be given both the rights together. Select a reviewer from the Reviewer Level 2 drop-down and check the options as per your requirement. Click on Save Policy and click Next to move to the Workflow Policy Settings. Under Loan Settings section, you can select a loan policy document if it is configured in the system. Enter the details such as loan limit, max loan tenure, months to start AMI, interest rate. Select Interest Type from the drop-down. Enter perquisite rate and other details if necessary. In this section, you can set the eligibility criteria. In the disbursement settings section, enable last reviewer can update loan disbursement details option. Click the review and submit button to create a loan workflow level. On the workflow levels page activate the loan. Now let's see how an employee can apply for a loan from their ASS portal. Navigate to Salary, Loans and Advances and click on Apply Loan. Select a loan type from the drop-down. Enter loan amount and loan tenure. Select AMI Start Month from the drop-down. Enter the remark if necessary. Click on Apply and Confirm to apply for the loan. Click on the Pending tab where the application status can be viewed by clicking the Loan Details. Now the first reviewer or manager can log in to their ESS portal and from home review card click on loan or navigate to tasks review page and click on loan. Reviewer can accept, accept and forward, reject the loan as per the rights assigned by the admin. After the reviewer performs this action it will come under the closed tab. From your admin login, navigate to workflow review and then loan page click on loan request to view the details enter the loan details you can take action by clicking on the accept or reject button from your admin login navigate to payroll payroll inputs consider loan page under the Pending Loans tab, the loan applied and approved would be displayed. Click on View Details to view the loan details. Click on Consider for Payroll to consider the employee for payroll. Please note, once Consider for Payroll is selected, it will be pushed to payroll, then the employee would receive his or her salary accordingly. With that, we come to an end. Thank you for watching the great HR How-To video series.